Hello and welcome. Now in this lecture we are going to make some calculations on standard error of coefficient of correlation and probable error of coefficient of correlation. The information available is n, the sample size is 10 and the co sample coefficient of correlation is 0.75. Let us first calculate the standard error. What is the formula of standard error? It is 1 minus coefficient square upon square root of n. So 1 minus 0.75 square divided by under root n. 1 minus 0.5625 upon under root 10 will be 3.1623. That means ultimately it is point 4375 divided by 3.1623. So it comes to 0 0.138349. Standard error of coefficient of correlation, rather, simple correlation coefficient is 0 0.138349. Now, on the basis of this, we can calculate the lower limit and upper limit of population correlation coefficient. That will be coefficient minus standard error, coefficient plus standard error. But nowadays the more common concept is probable error. So all these calculations we are going to make with the probable error only. Let us calculate the probable error. The formula of probable error is based on the formula of standard error only. 0.6745 into standard error. That is the say logical way to write the formula of probable error. 0.6745 into 1 minus 0.75 the whole square upon under root and that is 10. So let us substitute the values 0.6745 into 0.4375 upon 3.1623. If we simplify all these, the result will be probable error of coefficient, some simple correlation equals to 0 0.0933 and so on. This is the <coughs> nearest value for. Now, on the basis of probable error, we can study two other things. The first is the limits of population correlation coefficients. Now we know the term population correlation coefficient. If we draw another sample or samples from the same population and calculate the coefficient of correlation for that sample or samples, we call it population correlation coefficient. By this term, we don't at all mean the correlation coefficient for the whole population. The lower limit will be correlation coefficient minus probable error. That will be 0.75 minus 0 0.0933. So it will be 0.6567. And the upper limit, that will be correlation coefficient plus probable error. 0 0.75 plus 0 0.0933, so it will be 0 0.8433. If we draw another sample from the same population and calculate its correlation coefficient, that correlation coefficient fall within this range the probability for that is 50%. This is the interpretation of probable error and the limits calculated on the basis of the probable error. Another use of the probable error is interpretation of the correlation or coefficient of correlation between the two variables. Interpretation. What do we mean by interpretation? 
we had a rather we have a po population we drawn a sample from it we calculated this coefficient of correlation for that sample now what about the interpretation of this r let us first examine that is coefficient of correlation greater than or less than the probable error first of all coefficient of correlation is greater than probable error but that is not sufficient because this is actually say negative remark if coefficient of correlation is less than probable error then we directly conclude that there is no significant correlation between the two variables under consideration but what if the coefficient of correlation is greater than it it is not sufficient to be greater than the probable error it should be greater than six times of probable error so first of all we should have the six times value of the probable error 6 into 0 0.0933 and that is i have already calculated it that is 0.5598 and our coefficient of correlation is 0.75 that means the coefficient of correlation is greater than six times of probable error it's probable error so we can conclude that there is definitely significant correlation <coughs> between the two variables under consideration this is our interpretation that's it for now thank you very much